Hello from Perth Airport where the sun is just coming up over the horizon and we're getting an early morning flight over to Red Hill. So the sun's nearly up now. Um, basically, I'm just sitting in the cockpit waiting for sunrise. That's the time that I told Perth that I'd be departing. Um, a few clouds uh, around the aerodrome here, so probably what I'm going to do is take off into the circuit, probably climb above the aerodrome to have a look, and see if I can find my route through. There's still a few showers coming through. The reason for going this early was um, weatherman Simon Keeling. Uh, I needed a window to get out of Perth and back down to Red Hill before the next uh, uh, system of weather came through. It's been quite uh, unstable up here, um, well, all of yesterday, with lots of uh, rain and cumulonimbus, and there's more on the way. And uh, a quick phone call to Simon Keeling, my buddy from Aviation Weather School, and uh, he put me straight and said basically he wants me out of here as soon as I can, and as soon as I can is pretty much sunrise. So. Yeah, we're nearly there now. Uh, just wait a few more minutes and then we'll start off, start up, and hopefully head our way back to Red Hill. Perth traffic, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, PA28 Arrow, parked on the grass, uh, taxiing to runway 21, backtracking 09, India Victor. Perth traffic, Gold Bravo, Mike India Victor is rolling runway 21, Gold India Victor. This is only my second sunrise departure ever. It's a lovely time of day to fly. The skies are usually unoccupied, the frequencies quiet, and the views breathtaking. Airspeed's alive. There she goes. and I, I'm hoping that's kind of the stress all over. Um, there's quite a bit of weather coming in from the west now. And uh, we're a few showers still around uh, Perth, the Perth area, so really good to get away when we did. Simon Keeling from Weather School has been on the messenger this morning saying, it's quite a nasty picture out there. Get south as fast as you can. <laughs> um, so we are, we are. Well, we're not, we're not, we're not going, we're not sort of forcing it, but we're um, we're going at uh, sort of 65 percent power. I think that will be fine. Good, good to have a friend like Simon who occasionally will drop everything to uh, to help me out. So. Thanks to thanks to Simon, and uh, that's not to say that the skills he's taught me on his weather school were redundant. Uh, I suppose what I was looking for was confirmation that I could get back today, knowing that, that it did look possible, if not a bit tricky. Pretty fine up there. Looking ahead, it might uh, appear as if we can climb up a bit higher, which might give us a bit more performance, but I know for a fact that uh, the further south we go, the lower the cloud bases will be. I, I, that's my understanding. And also, the freezing level is about 5,000 feet today, so uh, no point freezing ourselves after death and suffering icing. A viaduct was at a place called Berwick Pond Tweed. Which was very pretty, wasn't it? Newcastle weather, Cav OK. TC 
side. Cab OK. Well, Q at 15. And then we head a bit further south, Humberside, no cloud detected. So that's below 5,000 feet. Waddington, cab OK. Coningsby, cab OK. Actually, it's all, it's all fine. Farnborough, few at 28. Gatwick has got some rain. Few at 28. And the taps are all uh, OK until a bit later, until about 12 o'clock, and then it all goes to pot. My route today takes me down the east coast of Britain, passing through Newcastle's airspace, a beam Teesside, and then overhead Humberside. Newcastle radar, good morning, Golf, Bravo, Mike, India, Victor, request basic service and Zone Transit. Golf, Bravo, Mike, India, Victor, Newcastle radar, good morning, pass message. Golf, Bravo, Mike, India, Victor, PA28, Arrow, Perth to Red Hill, VFR, 30 miles north. Altitude 3,500 feet, QNH 1011. Request that transit. Go off any vector, Roger. QNH is correct, it's a basic service. Squawk 3751. Basic service, Squawk 3751. Go off any vector. Go off any vector, you create the transit controlled airspace VFR, not at about 3,500 feet. Clear to transit, Newcastle controlled airspace, not above 3,000. 500 feet altitude, VFR, Golf Indy Victor. Golf Indy Victor, correct. Newcastle and Teesside are always very good at uh, transiting you through their controlled airspace down here. Never had a problem at all. Um, they also talk to each other and pass you off to each other, which uh, is helpful. Makes, makes you feel loved as a pilot. Well, uh, two data golf, turn right heading 045, the centre altitude 2000. Center altitude 2,000 feet to right, heading 05 right, at 2,000. Golf Indy Victor, Squawk 7041. Squawk 7041, Golf Indy Victor. Golf Indy Victor, contact T-side radar 118.855, good day. T-side radar 118.855, good day, Golf Indy Victor. Golf Indy Victor, Squawk 7041. T-side radar, good morning, Golf, Bravo, Mike, India Victor. Call for our mic and Victor, two side radar, good morning, basic service QNH 1013. Basic service QNH 1013, Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor, are you looking for zone transit or are you transiting down the coast? Transiting down the coast, Golf India Victor. We'll return to the flight in a moment when a bladder emergency leads to a diversion. But first, I want to tell you about the Flying Reporter Ground School. I've teamed up with Easy PPL to produce video tutorials for the entire private pilot syllabus. It covers navigation, practice force landings, common landing mishaps, stalls, steep turns, you name it, we've filmed it. These tutorials are great for student pilots because you can watch the exercise before you fly it with your instructor, meaning you get more value from your lesson in the air. For existing pilots, the tutorials are great for brushing up on the core skills that you may have become rusty with. We cover the theoretical knowledge too. There are free courses available on infringements and air law. Visit my website to take a look. On an information, good morning, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, request basic service. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, London information, good morning, Vice message. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, PA28, Arrow, Perth to Red Hill, VFR, 8 miles northwest of Whitby, altitude 3,500 feet, routing Humberside, estimate Red Hill 0930, request basic service. Uh, Bravo Mike India, Victor, uh, thank you, school 1177 with mode Charlie for basic service. Squawk 1177, basic service, Golf India Victor. Right, Golf India Victor, when you have one estimate for uh, beam humberside, please. Golf India Victor, estimate uh, beam humberside 0809, Golf India Victor. Roger. I had to dodge a bit of low cloud that was hanging over the higher terrain just to the west of Redcar, and I could see the deteriorating weather moving in from the west as predicted. But my early morning departure from Perth has meant that I'm well ahead of any trouble. 
Well, trouble in the form of weather anyway. I've been flying two hours now and I turn 50 this month. My age brings a new dimension to flying long legs. I hadn't wanted to say it because I didn't want to concentrate and think about it, but um, I need a wee. <laughs> So I decide to divert to Earl's Cone and I message my friendly aerodrome manager there to let them know that I'm dropping in. Go for your Victor, request your destination aerodrome. We were originally going to Red Hill, but um, I'm sure you don't need to know this. My bladder is starting to uh, warn me that I might need to stop. So I'm going to make a stop at Earl's Cone. Go for Victor, copy, just uh, confirm, say again your destination. Earl's Cone. Go for the Victor. Roger, I'm all familiar with that. Where is it near? Uh, it's in Essex. It's just to the northeast of Stansted. Uh, Echo Golf Sierra Romeo. Oh, that's copy. Thank you very much. <laughs> they didn't want to know about my bladder, did they? Uh, just shut up and tell us where you're going now. Bacon Heath Radar, good morning. Golf Bravo, Mike, India Victor, request basic service. Golf Bravo, Mike, India Victor, Lakeland Approach, good morning, squawk 0455. Squawk 0455, Golf India Victor. Golf India Victor's radar contact, nine miles northwest of Lake Lakeland, basic service QNH is at 1017. Basic service QNH 1017, Golf India Victor. <laughs> Hells Cone Radio, good morning, Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, 10 miles to the north, request aerodrome information. Golf Bravo Mike, India Victor, Roger, runway 24, left hand circuit, QH 1018, QFE 1010. 24, left hand circuit, QH 1018, QFE 1010, Golf India Victor. And John, there's no known traffic to affect at this time. Roger, looking to join uh, crosswind. So, we're on the more or less fullest tank actually, engine temp fuel radios tuned, engine temperatures and pressures are in the green, direction indicators aligned and altimeters are on 1018 so that's all good, QFE is 1010. Golfindia Victor entering the ATZ from the north, joining crosswind 24, left hand circuit to land. Golfindia Victor, roger. Joining downwind, got three greens. Brakes under carriage, it's down and green, the mixture is rich, fuel is on the fullest tank. Golf India Victor, left hand down, wind 2 4 to land. Golf India Victor, roger. Landing light. Up, Tim. Reds, blues, three greens. But Copy did it, Victor. Final to land two four. 
Wind Victor Roger, wind 180 degrees, 6 knots. It was a relief to get on the ground and empty the centre tank, as my instructor used to say. I did get to Red Hill shortly afterwards and, just in time, the heavens opened as soon as I'd parked. That's all for now. Check out the Flying Reporter Ground School, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Fly safely, my friends.